Hi, I'm Jackie French. Where do you find the voices of the past? Well, for me, from grandma's story, from great grandma's story. And great grandma told me stories of her great grandmother who told me stories of her great grandma. That's where I get so many of my stories, the voices of women for hundreds of years. The schoolmaster's daughter came from a story from grandma, how they were shipwrecked. Even the treasure on the beach was real. And I've hoped to find treasure like it ever since. Those are the voices of the past. But they can come from other places as well. Nanbury Black Brother White came from the diary of Surgeon White, Australia's first colonial surgeon. One of the Australian sappers saw my plea on the internet and gave me 20 years of research about Andrew Douglas Kebble White, the letters of one of the soldiers in Australia, Lieutenant Dawes, on the first fleet. He wrote about Indigenous languages, he mentioned Nanbury by another name, and as soon as I had that name I could find out so much more about this extraordinary young man who was a leader of his people and deeply respected sailor in the colonial community. You will find voices in so many places. Read old cookbooks, books that are 100 years old or 500 years old, to find out what people ate, how they cooked it, when did they eat mealtimes different. Look at old newspapers. Old newspapers are wonderful. Old newspapers will give you advertisements to tell you what people needed, like an enclosed stove or cures for constipation, or even where is Will Smith? Look for oral histories in your library. You'll probably find them in records just of your local area and those who have collected the stories of people in the past. Walk the land that's like the land that you are walking, because in the past, people spent a lot of time outside. They gathered their food, they gathered what they needed from outside. Listen to the voices of people, listen to the voices and the songs of the birds. Listen to the song of the creek, and in those voices, you will find everything you need for historical research. And now download all the other wonderful information you have got. Start thinking and start writing.